Telescopes.net. My name is Daniel Mouncey, aka Dr. D. And today I'm just going to give you guys a brief overview on what apparent field of view means. And the way I'm demonstrating this is I'm, I've taken three of these eyepieces here. They're all going to produce the same magnification. They're all 20 millimeter eyepieces. Um, we have here the generic type fossil, which produces what they call a 50 degree apparent field. You'll notice a smaller field of view here. And then here you have a super wide angle, which has an apparent field of view of 68 degrees, as illustrated here on the circle. And then I have the hyper wide, which is a 100 degree apparent field. And you'll notice the larger field of area here that this yields. The compromise is obviously you get a bigger eyepiece. The fact that it, one is a two inch barrel or the one or inch and a quarter barrel is, is irrelevant. The, the eyepiece to produce that 100 degree apparent field just physically has to be a larger eyepiece. But the brightnesses will all be identically the same in all the eyepieces. It doesn't matter whether it's a two inch eyepiece like you see here or an inch and a quarter eyepiece like you see here. The primary difference that you're seeing here is the field of view or the apparent field of view that you see. Now being that these are all 20 millimeter eyepieces and that they're all producing the identical same magnification, um, the true field of view is also going to be wider in this uh, eyepiece as well. The only way that I can make the true field um, the same in a smaller super wide angle is that I would need a longer focal length eyepiece, something like you know a 35 or a 40 to produce the same true field. So the hyper wide angle eyepiece tends to give you that close look. It's like shoving a magazine in your face so you kind of find yourself looking around to see everything in it. And it's kind of kind of a cool look. Uh, you might be looking in say the Virgo cluster and you're looking through your telescope and you might see a galaxy off to one side and you look over here you see a galaxy over there. It's kind of a neat effect. Um, the compromise obviously is it is a heavier eyepiece so you just have to take that into consideration. But this should give you a basic overview and idea of what fields of view do. Uh, if you have any questions, you can visit our website at telescopes.net, and our toll-free number is 888-427-8766. Thanks for watching.